my name is Ian. My, my Chinese name is Hong Zi, Hong I come from South Africa. I'm an architect and I've been in China for 21 years. Um, I, because, I, because I'm an architect, I love Chinese uh, ancient buildings, old houses. Um, and so when I settled in Yangzhou, I thought someone needs to protect the houses. So that's what I do now is I design and renovate old buildings. And I saw these houses, and they were abandoned, no one was living in them, and I just thought they were so beautiful. The, the first building I rented was owned by six different families. It, was, it took us about five months all to agree. Um, and then we began renovating. Um, at that stage, it just had two, two buildings. So I spent one year renovating the two buildings that we opened in 2010. The happiest thing for me was when in the first year I nearly finished renovating the buildings and I was on the roof, I think, just doing some roof tiles and uh, there was like four or five uh, old people from the village, probably in their 70s or 80s, and they came and called me and they were like, Fumza, come down, we want to talk to you, and I thought there was some sort of problem. Um, but they just said, oh, we want to thank you um, because we were born in this house and we lived here our whole lives until their son built a new house and they moved out and they said this has been our home for like 70 years and they were so happy that because it was when i rented it it was starting to fall down and it would be gone if no one had saved it so they they just said they wanted to thank me for saving their home for them But then, um, as the tourism business took off, the bamboo rafting uh, had a very uh, big impact. People started building houses, so there was um, the fruit, the fruit business that really took off. So a lot of women started doing the fruit picking and fruit packing, and men were doing bamboo rafting and building. So all the people came back to the village. That's all spectacular, because that's all happened in like the last 10 years or less. My dream uh, is to stay in China for the rest of my life. But yeah, I've just rented a new house um, at the Yulong Bridge, um, and I'm designing and renovating that at the moment. And, but I would just like to keep on doing that until I'm 100 years old or something. Like that.